Hi, friends. Thank you for joining us for our weekly pastor's update. Reverend Seely wrote the bulletin this week, and she has some beautiful words for you. This Thursday, October 14th, is the 45th Thursday night mass anniversary. This informal, musically rousing mass, spiritually re-energized Corpus Christi Parish in 1976, and drove the start of a new era in the church. Since then, Thursday night has remained a special time of friendship, laughter, and togetherness as the Thursday night mass family gathers around the table to be fed by the Eucharist, to pray together, share our lives with one another. So we invite you to come help us to celebrate this Thursday night at seven o'clock. That has been the source of inspiration and a spiritual home to so many over the years. Speaking of mass, I continue to be grateful that we can gather for daily noon mass again. After many weeks apart during the pandemic, so if you find yourself downtown on a Monday or Wednesday or Friday around 1210, or you're able to tune in with us from home at that time, I hope you'll join us. When life is hectic and full of worries, it is such a blessing to have this brief 40 to minute or so time together to pause in the middle of the day, to be nourished by the scriptures and communion, and to be with friends in prayerful, uh, in a prayerful, intimate setting. So I hope you'll join us. As the bulletin is being written this week, our country marks Indigenous Peoples Day. Here in Rochester, we dwell on the ancestral lands of the Seneca people in the Haudenosaunee Confederacy. Haudenosaunee culture values caring for Mother Earth and partnering with nature has modeled a society built on women's leadership since well before the suffrage movement, and has given the world the oldest and longest lasting participatory democracy on earth. So we give thanks for the wisdom of our indigenous members and friends and neighbors, and we pray that there will be continued efforts by Catholics from the Vatican to the pews to acknowledge the harm done to Native peoples in the past, to repair that harm where possible, and to work towards a future that is more just and culturally inclusive. This week we send our sympathy and our condolences to John O'Gorman on the death of his mother, Anne. We also send our sympathies to Michael and Diane Curry on the death of Michael's stepdad, Ray Schlitzer, Friends, I hope that you get out and you enjoy these long, beautiful fall days. And may you savor them as we go through this beautiful month of October. Be sure to check out our Mental Health Center's website. And if you haven't already signed up to walk and support that beautiful ministry, look forward to doing that with you. All right, take care. And I'll see you next week for our weekly pastor's update.